Hi, it's Tom here, and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And this time, I'd like to recommend you to always version your Gradle project. And even the best software developers in the world don't create things perfectly the first time, and we need to make incremental changes and improvements to our project, and the best way to let our customers know about that, and also to keep track of it ourselves, is with a version number. And if you think about it, even the build automation tool Gradle has version numbers, and it consists of three parts. You've got the major version number, which goes up when there are big breaking changes released. You've got the minor version number for smaller features and improvements. And then you've got the patch version number for small fixes. And using a fixed version scheme like this is going to make things a lot more predictable for you and whoever's using your software. Unfortunately, Gradle makes this easy, and we're going to explore this using this sample Java project. It's called Version Example, and right here is the build.gradle, and it just consists of the Java plugin, and I've got a single class here. And it's important to note that actually quite a lot of the Gradle plugins automatically make use of the version number. So to illustrate how the Java plugin uses the version number, I want to first build this project, and we'll do that with dot slash Gradle W space build. And inside the build directory, in libs, we have this jar file that's been created. And it's just called version example.jar. Now in the Gradle build script, the way we set a version is version equals and then you pass it a string, and we're going to set 0.1.0, .0, so major 0, minor 1, patch 0, dash snapshot. And snapshot is a way to say that this version is currently still in development. And let's see what happens now when we run build again. That's finished, and right here we have a new jar file, and you can see that it's included the version number inside the jar file name, which can be really handy to identify this. Now what you see here is the most simple way of specifying a version using a string, but if you think about having to maintain this and put it into version control, it's quite a lot of maintenance to keep committing this change when we want to update the version. And a better way to do this is actually to use tags, and when we're ready to release a new version, we can tag a specific commit with that version number. And there are several plugins that help you do this with Gradle, but one particular one that I like to use is called the Axion Release plugin, and I'll provide a link to the documentation down in the description. But we can apply this plugin to our project using this ID here, and then all you need to do is change this hard-coded string to scm version dot version, and this is going to use the version derived by this Axion plugin. And the plugin also gives us several different tasks that we can use now. And if we run a dot slash Gradle W space tasks, we'll see all the tasks in this project. And the first helpful task that this plugin adds is current version. So it's a task to tell us what is the current version of our project. And then there's several tasks to do with releasing, and we'll get onto one of those in a second. So first thing to do here is to run dot slash Gradle W space current version. And it's telling us that our version is 0.1.0 dash snapshot. That's the default it uses if it doesn't find any other version. Now what we can do here is just commit any changes that we've got. So I've got one change in the build.gradle. So I'm just going to commit that. And now we're going to run a task exposed by this plugin, which is just release. And you can see here that it says creating tag v0.1.0, and it's making changes to the local repository only because I haven't pushed this yet. And now if we run a current version again, you can see it's on 0.1.0, and we also have a tag here. And just to show you the development workflow, imagine that we're making changes to this project. So let's make another change into this class here. And then we would commit this. 
and the current version described by the plugin is 0.1.1 snapshot. And once again, we can run dot slash gradle w space release. And it's created a new tag v0.1.1. So this version number has actually been incremented by the patch version. And you can decide exactly how that gets incremented by configuring the plugin to your requirements. And like I said, the link's in the description. So you've just seen how you can set the version on a Gradle project. And you've seen the really simple way where you hard code the string. And you've also seen using the Axion release plugin, which uses tags to specify the version inside the Gradle project. And if you haven't set up versioning with your project yet, I recommend putting some thought into how that's going to work because it's going to make it a lot easier to keep track of changes to your software if you use incrementing versions. If you'd like to hear about other Gradle best practice tips like this, then why not subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm doing one tip every day for 30 days. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next Gradle best practice tip.